All right. For some reason, see, today I didn't have to flip the camera, and it's shooting it the right way, where I can actually see the chat and film. I don't know what was going on yesterday. Whoa, boot, but let's see this. The tenant bar of Lorenzo Spelonga. Whoa. Can I zoom in? I don't even know. Oh, I can. All right, dude, the future is now. All right. All right, so we're going to cruise around. Let's do this. I'm going to all slow down, too. I apologize. Yesterday, I was going fast. It felt like I was going really slow. And, uh... Hey, what's up, ISIT? I feel like, hold on, I just got a text. Um, no. I'm trying to zoom out. Okay, I think this is good. This is kind of cool. We'll get the ball rolling here in a second. Oh, this is pretty nice. Look at this. Those are kind of cool. Hey, what's up, James? Hold on, I'm gonna, my eyes aren't so good anymore. HR, what's up HR? My phone is like the hardest thing to see. This is kind of cool. This looks like kids' bed sheets. Dude, I would rock this shit so hard. It is kids' bed sheets. Is it kids' bed sheets? Yep. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Ready to get our night Rider today? <laughs> what was that? Ready to get our night Rider? Night Rider? It's not damn. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see here. This guy covers this stuff up pretty good. Hey, what's up, Dan? Oh, sorry, the, the, the chat disappears. It sort of fades in and fades out. So let's see, I'll take you guys to the Funko booth. I hate this stuff, personally. Well, I don't know if I hate it. I'm not really into it. But I know people like Funko, so I'll, I'll show you guys that stuff. I'll feed the beast. <laughs> And this is actually Artist Alley. We're like right by my table. Hold on. Whoa, my print is falling. So, oh, here's Kim Jong Ji's booth. So he's pretty close to us. Like I can actually see his table from mine, but they're not here yet. But this is probably Super Annie. So, stacks of books. Hey, what's up, Skip? Sorry, like I said, it's I, my eyes aren't that good, and so it's hard for me to read everyone's names. I think it's Crash Kratish or Gratish. <laughs> Hey, here's Terry Dotson's thing. Terry's so good. Yeah, this is much better. And look, the lights aren't doing that streaky thing as much. I don't know what that was. I mean, it's definitely possible my camera was dirty, but I never, I didn't clean it when I shot that other video and it looked fine. So here's where Scott Williams is. Hey, what's up, Brain? So this is Scott Williams' table. He's got some really nice things. This, this Batman print is great. And then Alex Sinclair. They're not here. It's super, super early. So no, no one's in yet. I'm the early bird. Um, and then this is my table. I have three new prints. I did the Death Dealer from Finch, and I have two Blaster Kid prints. They're really nice. They're 13 by 19. And uh, really thick, like killer, killer paper. So, all right, let's go to the Funko booth and then we'll start hitting some serious, the good stuff. <laughs> oh, what is this all blocked off? Funko, so it's such a weird phenomenon. I feel bad because I know a lot of people like it. This is really cool, though, this area. Oh, and this is Mondo? Holy shit, I didn't even see this. Oh, I'm gonna walk through here. Wow, holy crap. So this is the Mondo booth. Wow, this is cool. Look at this. It's funny because we saw Trap Jaw yesterday. Hey, what's up, Paul? And then, and we have Andino. What's up, Andino? Where's Kelsey's table? Kelsey isn't here. He lives pretty far away. Kelsey's in Georgia. I live in, I live in San Diego, so it's a little easier for me to do the show. For Coop, I don't have a Coop book. 
Koopa's Koopa's great though. I should have a Soundgarden poster that he did. These are nice. I'll leave this. Oh, you like the He-Man? Here, I'll go back. Where was it? Where's He-Man? I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't leave the swamp, and I live in PB. Trust me, it's hard to get me out of my house. This this con was a struggle. <laughs> Unroll that picture. I know, you know, I gotta be honest, Mondo, like, they have a really big space. They don't really have as much stuff as I would think. Unless they're, they're not, it's not all up yet, but man, that room should be packed with shit. All right, so let's, I'll kind of give you guys a shot of the Funko area. This is actually really cool though. This is nice what they've done. You know how they can afford this? Because they have Funko money. <laughs> this is cute. What is this? This looks like something my wife and daughter would like. Little backpacks. Oh, the these are actually pretty cute. Look, I have the up guy. Hey, thank you, Sprouts. I appreciate it. I try to keep fun. Oh, this is awesome. Dude, these are cool. Look at that. Um, they're definitely, these are definitely geared for girls, but these are pretty badass. Look at this. They're small. These are about, um, I, like, you could almost put, like, a lunchbox inside of them. They're not super big backpacks all right so here's fun go. all right so let's let's head further into the show and look at big boy stuff oh dude that's actually really cool yeah right i know no kidding tokidoki this shit is pretty badass this guy's made fucking bucket loads of money he's like an he's like an italian guy he just crushed it that's so badass. I'm like, we're gonna look at big boy stuff, and then I'm like at the Toki Doki booth. <laughs> it's really cool though. This thing is freaking huge. I always tell people if you ever want to find our table at Artist Alley, we're by the wall of the wall of shirts. Every year this thing is here. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, sorry about that. Man, this is so badass. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Man, this is pretty this is pretty cool. Like I don't know if on the camera it comes across as, as badass as it is, but this thing is huge. It's a little bit of a glare up here. We're not gonna be able to see her face really good. Let's see if I can get it. It's funny, I was like so, I was so burnt yesterday and you would think after doing 12 hours of the show yesterday, I'd be tired today. It's the exact opposite. It's like it built my endurance. I think not leaving the house for two years fucked me up. <laughs> it was like, I was like, I like this. I don't ever want to go anywhere again. Um, all right, so let's head down this way. All right, we'll look at some, we'll go look at some original art. Quan's not set up yet. He told me he wouldn't be there for like an hour. Um, so we'll go to some of the other art dealer booths, see what we got. Um, this is, oh, what is her name? Tara, I think this is Tara McPherson. Uh, well, this used to be her booth. I don't know, maybe it isn't. It's pretty cool stuff. No, this is someone else. This is nice. Oh, this is really cool print. Man, this stuff is great. To, I'll remember their name. Yeah, I don't know what the glare was. I think the, the, it was weird. So I had to reinstall the live stream app. And um, I think, I don't know. I think there might have been a glitch or something when I when I started streaming. Uh, because um, the camera was backwards, which it had never been before. And on top of it, yeah, I don't know what that weird streaking was. These are pretty nice. So this is Greg Horn. I think this is nice. Not like a huge Greg Horn fan, but that's pretty nice. Oh, Chris Sanders. Everybody likes Chris Sanders stuff. Yeah, he's really good. Crazy. 
Chris Sanders is so badass. Oh, this is fun. This is going to be a really good live stream. The babes are back. Man, these are great. Sandra Hope loves Chris Sanders stuff. She was the one that kind of got me into it. I, I don't know when the Walking Dead panel is. I'm sorry. If I go by upper deck? Okay, I'll see. I don't know who Matt is. So a lot of the art dealers aren't set up yet. They kind of pull all their art down. If you look over here, do you see how it's still empty? It's pretty early. It's like probably 8.15 or I don't know. I can't see my clock. You probably could. Shoot. Yeah, all the art isn't up yet. Albert Moy isn't set up. Let's see what Heritage has got going on. Oh, they'll have some good stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, look. Check this out. This is cool. All right. So we got... Look at, they estimate this piece is gonna go for over a hundred grand. And this is gonna go for over a hundred grand. At some point I'm gonna sell my Jim Lee. Um, oh look, Frazetta, holy shit. Damn, this Johnny Comet is huge. Sorry, like, I can't help the glare on this one. I'm shooting through glass and the lights will reflect. It's gonna be impossible for me to avoid it because there's lights behind me. Sorry, if you need to get in here, I'll no, absolutely I'm get out of your way. making sure we got Yeah, no worries. But yeah, at some point I'm actually gonna use Heritage to sell. I have um, the Jim Lee color guides for issue two and three of X-Men. And uh, at some point I'm gonna probably give them the Heritage to sell. Wow, this is really cool. I had no idea that Johnny Comet strips were this big. I always pictured them smaller. I mean, this is, I think, a Sunday because it's the three tier. Again, I apologize. The light is coming from behind me, so I can't avoid it. There's a, the Nickelodeon booth that is sending off a lot of light. It's funny. I'm I'm real good friends with Joe Lee, and uh, Joe sold the Batman Dark Knight cover uh, recently. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. Look at this piece. This is badass. Yeah, Joe, Joe's got to be like a VIP with heritage, I would imagine. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, oh, look, check this out. No pictures, please. Uh, oh, what's up, Eddie? Look, Eddie Choi, we're live on YouTube. Yeah. The tube of you. <laughs> Eddie's like my best friend. So we always rich. talk about her. I, you know, I almost thought this was Phil Nutto at first, believe it or not. Here's a Travis. Cherished. Charade. Darwin Cook. We've got... Who did this piece, Eddie? This is Eric Larson? Oh, Eddie's gone. Eddie moves fast. We'll kind of scoot this way. What do we got here? Oh, look at this. Some Akira cells. Charles Schultz. Look at this. This is a hand painted um, piece. Oh, Cowboy Bebop. zoom in over here so you guys can see this stuff. It's Adam Peters. Some Jim Lee. Oh, here's some Bernie Wrightsons up here. Okay. 
Yeah, Travis is right here. Albert probably has uh, quite a few here. He's got a pretty decent Travis. There's the Barry Windsor Smith. They're setting up or I would go back. I don't want to disturb them. Is it all right? Okay, I'm friends with Albert. Sort of. <laughs> it's, I'm as close as I could be to Albert. Let's just put it that way. No. <laughs> all right, we've breached it. Here's a Frazetta pencil. Check this out. Hey, what's up, Powell? So this is Frazetta pencils, original pencils right here. I think we all moved uh, Bruce Tip sketches uh -huh. or drawings to the top. We kind of put everything back and ho hopefully take it over here. Let's see this. The books. So here's a Barry Winter Smith. Look at this. Brian Bowen piece is awesome. Here's the right sense. They're a little hard to shoot because they're pretty high up. <laughs> they're, they're for sale, so they'll, they'll be framed, I'm sure, by some people when they pick them up. Here's the Travis a little closer. Let's see this. My friend actually owned this piece. He must have sold it at some point, but I remember when he commissioned it. They they do look like color comps, honestly. They don't look like they're 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 pretty tight, but they're also loose. This, this piece is more finished. It's a little hard to tell from the distance that I'm at, but this one's definitely got more of a uh, like kind of refined like inking on it. The one to the this one to the right looks a little more like um, yes, just a little, maybe, maybe like a work in progress. Okay, uh, here's another. Look at this. Did this sell? Wow, check this out. He's got the Punisher Nick Fury cover. It is. No, it's not. Where? No. Man, this thing is classic. What is the middle piece? No. Oh, here's another Frazetta. I, or here's two Frazettas like this. Well, I, I have an old, I have an old picture. So I and then these are really cool. Check this out. This is some Bruce Tim. Yeah. Sorry, there's a neon light right here. <laughs> So Jim Steranko. And please let me know if I get in your way, honestly. I'll move in a second. The first uh, five minutes is free. Right. And then after that, it's uh, $5 right. a minute. All <laughs> right. Hope, well, you know, honestly, I, some people may come over and actually buy some stuff. It wouldn't surprise okay. me. Okay. Then we'll give you uh, right. your money back. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, go ahead. This. We're trying to make groups, you know, or some sense. Of yeah, yeah, no, totally. Because like, I mean, it's here's all this. Well, here's, here's all the Barry Smith. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize this piece was Barry. I, I mean, you look at it and you tell that it is, but it, I didn't notice it. I've never seen this one. I've never seen this piece. But this is Jeff Jones. This is great. Everyone's gonna chip in. We'll buy a piece. <laughs> Get me a Travis. <laughs> This Jeff Jones is so good, man. It's yeah, so Frazetti. Middle Earth portfolio. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, this is late. Well, someone said this is late Wally Wood. I never thought it was commenting on yeah. the artist. I didn't realize that's Wally Wood. Uh -huh. Man, that's awesome. Here's another Frazetta uh, sketch too. What were you gonna show me? That's a beautiful Frazetta sketch. It is a really, really yeah. nice one. These are these are ones that I've not seen. And the uh, there was uh, that the piece okay. with him fighting the guy. I don't recognize that either. It's a plate from the... Oh, oh is it? Yeah. Really nice. There's another Storenko. I know you grabbed it, but I was like, you didn't say anything. I was like, I don't know what's going on. 
Okay, so let's... Sorry, I'm going to be moving quick for one second as I kind of navigate. Um, okay, let's keep continuing because we'll hit Quan's booth. Quan's got a lot of stuff. God, this thing is insane. I'm going to shoot this. I don't know who did this, but this piece is huge. Wow, look at this. Hey, how are you? Oh. I don't know who did this. This piece is insane. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no worries. No, not a problem at all. Who did, do you know who did this piece? Do you mind if I ask? No. I don't know. How happened? We don't. Have to, uh, come back oh, you're not sure? Oh, uh, no worries, no worries. It's a kind of movie piece, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's an incredible yeah. painting, though. Man, the guy is a badass. You think it's Frank McCarthy? Damn, you know your shit. Okay, so let's keep rolling. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Uh... So here's Jay Lee's booth. I'm, I don't if he's here. I don't want to bug him though, especially like live on camera. I'll, I'll just show it to you. He, I don't, it doesn't look like he's here. So. It's early in the morning. I'd say it's maybe like eight thirty. It's too edgy. No, this is his banner. So I'm trying to zoom back out. And he's got this big banner too. He's got a big space. It's expensive. <laughs> Okay, Pascal, it was funny, I, I was mentioning Pascal recently in a video, I couldn't remember his name. This guy's really good. He's, he's um, I think an animator, but he does like his personal pieces where he like kind of thinks about his life. He draws a lot of like this character with like his cat, like kind of talking to himself. It's really good shit. You should definitely follow him on um, Instagram if you don't. He's really good. What I was gonna say is, Jay's booth, I bet that's like $4,000 to get that that space. That ain't cheap. That's a lot of real estate. This is a good friend of mine. So this uh, this is Jason Palmer. He kind of does like a Drew Struzan thing. He He's really had a lot of success with his work. He's really, really good. But I met him through Adam Hughes. And at the time, he was kind of like just a fan. He came and visited Adam when we were at Wildstorm. And real nice guy. And was kind of like an aspiring artist, sort of like picking in Adam's brain. He's huge. He's been huge for a long time, but yeah, his name is Jason Palmer. Yeah, he's definitely got the Struzan thing going on. Right, Pascal's really, really good. Like, I don't remember where I originally saw his work, but uh, yeah, he's great. Okay, so let's check out a little bit more of the room. Like I said, I'll, I'll be able to hit you guys with a ton of art at uh, Quan's booth, and he'll let me just film it, film it with no drama. I mean, uh, I mean. Albert's booth was great. They're really nice. All right, let's see what we got. Crunch and roll. Oh, Jason studied under Struzan. Okay, thanks. Yeah, he's really good. So this is Hulu. What are the poster tubes? Is that free Hulu stuff? Is this free? Is this free? Oh. Studio Ghibli. What? All right, we gotta check this out. There's a huge Totoro. Oh my God, I wanna hug him. I love you, Totoro. <laughs> you wanna see what Totoro says in the mic? Does he talk? Dude, this thing is huge. I would, if I brought this in my house, it would scare the shit out of my cats. Look at this. Wow, this is really cool. Holy shit. 
wonder if they'll let me come in. I'm like scared to ask. <laughs> we'll go over here. We'll sneak in. <laughs> Cat bus, yeah. I, I, we have so many cat buses at our house. It's funny. Oh man, this is really cool. Richard Friend is an artist, Alley. He's, he's boring though. This is way funner. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Oh God, more Funkos. Jesus Christ. Will these guys have enough money? <laughs> All right, let's go. You can never have enough money though. Oh, look at this. What is this all about? It's like old TVs. This is like my office. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. I mean, rarely does Funko do anything where I go, oh, that would be pretty cool. Well, I don't know what the fuck this is, but this is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> what is this craziness? It's just old TVs. This is like the one I have in my office. Wow, what are the... I have no idea what I'm looking at. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, NASA. NASA has a booth? Oh, what is this? So this is... Oh, Square Enix? Holy shit. All right, let's check this shit out. Oh, uh, hold on. I don't know if they're gonna let me in. Oh, come on, they don't have this stuff facing out? Uh -huh. Oh, look at this. Sorry, it's, they have all of their, their merch is facing in. Look at this. Attention exhibitors, children under the age of 18 must remain within the confines of your exhibit space during booth preparation and organization hours. All children must be wearing their Comic-Con badge. Sorry, this it's tough to shoot through the glass here. Oh, I wish they had this stuff facing out. The hell, I guess they want you to come in the booth. Oh man, dude, these are sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you mind if I come in and look? Is is that okay? It's still prepping. Okay. This thing is insane. Oh my god. I'll try to shoot it from right here. Wow, this is incredible. This piece is so badass. It's huge. I couldn't even put my arms around this thing. It's so big. All right, well, we'll keep going because it's hard. It's hard. Everything is facing in and it's a lot of glare. But here, Ozzy has a booth. I forgot about that. Patient number nine. It's pretty cool that McFarlane and. Um, Jason Alexander got to work on this stuff. Here's some Dragon Ball Z for the Dragon Ball Z vans. These are great. These are big. These are like seven feet tall. I feel like I'm in Vegas all of a sudden. I don't know why. Like there's air conditioning over here and big, um, <laughs> big statues. This is really, really cool. Look at this. These things are freaking huge. Sorry, I know I'm going kind of quick, but... These are pretty badass. They're huge. This thing is gigantic. This thing's probably 10 feet tall. Okay, let's continue, friends. <laughs> Aren't we really family at this point? I feel weird calling you guys friends. All right, where are we going? What the fuck are we gonna do? I should take a slug of coffee. You'll get me super spicy. Let's see, let's see, what do we got? Jazz wears? I don't know what this is. Let's 
Legos and Star Wars. It's behind glass with like little lights. It won't film well. I kind of know. Oh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> That's really funny. Why is the diamond in his ass? <laughs> I'm gonna die. COVID slowly taking me down, pulling me into the abyss. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, whoa, what is this? Holy shit, look at this Gundam, it's fucking gigantic. Let's go, come on, friends. Family, sorry, family. So this is taller than me. So this is probably like seven feet tall. Now look at this, this thing is gigantic. This thing's gotta be like 13 feet tall. The gun goes way the fuck up, probably 25 feet. Holy shit, look at this one. Hey, what is up, John? For the safety of all attendees, exhibitors, and convention personnel, an approved face covering must be worn at all times. Look at this. This is so sick. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I mean, it's got to be at least 20 or 30 grand to make something like this. I mean, even if you were using cheap materials, it would be expensive. Maybe more. It could be. I, I could see that thing. Six. Hey, what is up, everyone? It's Rich. All right, let's see if I can get this to flip. All right, we're good to go. Sorry about that. I don't know. My internet connection died. Let me know. Let me know if you guys can hear me and see me. Hello. These are amazing. I don't, this is really good. Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Thank you. Am I back? Okay. Yeah. No. The internet. I had. I had restarted my phone. My internet cut out. These are big. These are very big pieces. They're they're probably two two feet tall, but they're freaking incredible. Is Kelsey here? What's up, Kelsey? I miss you. It would be so fun to do the show with you. So check this out. This is badass. It's a little bit of a glare. Um, hold on, I'm gonna scoot in here really quick and show you these. Let's get this way. You have to check these out. These are so nice. Oh, look at this. That's crazy. You ready for more? Are you ready for more? I think you're ready. They almost like on the camera they look they don't look as good as they do in person as I'm looking through the viewfinder. These are really impressive in person. It looks just like the actors. Sly. Yeah, they read they read a little weird on the phone, but in person not not as much. Alright, and look at this. Ah, what is that? I don't want to go in their booth, no one's here. It's kind of rude. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna, we'll head around. I need to party with this chick. <laughs> Me, yow. All right, friends, come on, family, sorry. I will get this, I will remember to call you family. All right, let's see what we got here. This is MDS Omezco. Oh, oh man. Right. I'm going to call her later. <laughs> Byron. This is pretty cool. Pyramid head, right? They call this one red pyramid thing. I actually like the base a lot. Wish I had more room for this shit. I just don't. It's so hard to display in my house. These are cool. These are small. These are about five, five, six inches. These medical ones are also 
Remember I said you guys were going to get Death Dealer. I could have got a better post for Death Dealer. I don't know why he would stand like that. These are cool. These are like little tiny. Frank Miller ones. Okay, let's continue. I'll go for like 10 more minutes. I don't want to eat up all the battery in my phone before I, like, even the show starts. I'll be kind of fucked. Undertaker for all you wrestling fans. This is big too. This is probably eight feet tall, maybe a little more. The boots are cool. What is it about boots and shoes? But nice design boots can't go wrong. If you're a dinosaur fan, you got dinosaurs. It's actually pretty badass. Oh, Jurassic World. Hey, what's up, Dustin? How are you? Early morning stream. You're definitely gonna watch. Want to watch this back if you if you just tuned in because it's some. There's some pretty good shit. This is one of those videos too where it's like. I need to go back and watch it because I've got a, a lot of stuff on film that I'll never see anywhere else. <laughs> so cool. Pretty nice masks. I actually follow a lot of mask collectors on YouTube. It's pretty pretty cool hobby. They're super hardcore about it. It's funny. Very territorial. Like when you get the like old rare mask. Oh, dude. Fuck yeah. You know me and Alien. Shit, this thing is so badass. I think I filmed this a couple of years ago. Oh, sorry, but I, this thing is so cool. Fuck, I'd love to have this in my house. What's up, big chap? Uh, this thing is, I'm gonna say nine feet tall. I never knew as a kid his fingers were double. I didn't know that until maybe like five or six years ago. It's pretty cool. You can see like through the cranium uh, skull and sign. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you no, no, can go. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm heading this way. Don't worry. You go. I'll go. <laughs> Give it a kiss. <laughs> I'm just going to hug it. Damn, this is badass. This is Jeepers Creepers. This is a really cool statue. It's funny, I'm having deja vu from like two years ago because I kind of remember coming down this area. It's like kind of fun. These are cool. <laughs> Look at Tony Stark's hair there, it's hysterical. <laughs> this is cool. I like the rockets coming off of his back. That's actually pretty badass. This is a pretty nice little Batman bust. Okay, so let's keep going for a little bit. Um, Acme. Acme does pretty nice prints. They're sort of like Mondo. We'll see if they're selling my prints. I've done, I think, two for them. Probably not. They were done a few years ago. I'm sure they're selling the new shit. It's all Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> pretty nice, pretty nice posters though, honestly. Sorry, the lights in the background are sort of showing up on the glass frames. Well, that's weird. They have a Jim Lee recolored X-Men print. That's very weird. This stuff is all licensed though. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be bootleg shit. Acme is a good company to work for. If you're into doing poster art, you should definitely hit them up and try to get work if you're doing stuff you think that they would be interested in because they pay well and um, they have a lot of really good licenses. I, I don't watch the Marvel movies, honestly. I've seen a few, but I don't, I don't, really, I don't really watch the superhero movies. I'm, I'm out banging chicks. No. <laughs> I don't like the colors that they use in the movies. To be 100% honest, that's one of my biggest um, things that I don't like about the Marvel movies is I don't like the color palettes that they use for a lot of the scenes. 
it's a weird thing to be picky about, but I just don't like the way that they look. Now you're going to notice it. You're going to go, God damn, he's right. These movies, it's, I don't think they, they, there's certain palettes that I just really don't like, and they seem to love to just stay right in those zones. This is just my own opinion. I've never heard anyone actually complain. Let's let's shoot this again now. This piece really blew me, blew me away, man. This Dark Knight piece is amazing. So, this is lit up from inside, but god damn, this is just a fucking killer piece. I know, this thing is ridiculous. I, like, <clears throat> there are certain sideshow pieces, or I don't know if this is Prime One. I think it is just a concerned sideshow. They knocked it out of the park with this one. I mean, this is just a winner all around. Batman looks so powerful, so badass. And then the, the lightning behind him. Look at the cape. It's like turning around. And I'd, I'd never seen this one online. Have, have you seen this online? Oh, this yeah. Oh it's God. incredible. Look at the rocks are, are like breaking out from the, the lightning. Oh, it's really that, incredible. It is. This has got to be four, four or five grand, you think? I, that easily. Could they go sixty-five hundred on this? I think they go there. I don't think, think so. Whatever they want. <laughs> right, right, right. It's got to be like five k. Yeah, at least. That is. Incredible. Yeah, this piece is really one of the best. So let's get biking. I tried to shoot this yesterday, but because my phone was. Exhibitors, was please return to your booths. Uh oh. Oh, this was so good. Oh, I didn't really see a joy buzzer with like the pokey thing on it. And I showed you guys the base yesterday, but this is great. He's like standing on a broken like Joker face with like green slime in it and it's glows. Oh, it's so good. It's funny because um, I didn't say it in yesterday's video, but that that is kind of the one geeky thing that I would love as a piece of merch for Blaster Kid is I my dream is to someday have some statues. Oh, I think that would be so fucking cool. Here's our little guy. He's so cute. <laughs> His face is fucking hysterical. Oh, look at this. This thing is huge. Oh, look, there he is. He's stealing the knob. Damn, that is badass. This thing is gigantic. This ain't for just any normal collector. You've got to have some space. I'd say this thing is four and a half, five feet long. Yeah, the child is cute, right? Okay, so let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to I'm going to end it here. I don't want to, but I'm worried that I'm going to eat up all my phone battery. But um we're going to I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to do art at Quan's booth, but this was good. It, it kind of makes up for yesterday's we'll call it the shit stream. <laughs> let's see. Oh, look, some Dracula. Dracula. And Marlon Brando. Look. And then they have some uh, third scale uh, TMNT stuff too that looks good. Their, yeah, their, I, their stuff looks good. So you know, nice, Turtles, man, the detail on that is great. doing really well, uh, especially with that new game. Oh, yeah, that game is awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Fonzie. <laughs> Who's got two thumbs and likes. Uh... <laughs> Who's got two thumbs and likes Kelsey? Fonzie does. Look at this. Oh, so they actually, they, it's funny, they leave these ones open. Uh, yesterday I was noticing that. This is actually really nice. Hey, excuse me, man. Oh, I'm sorry, you want me to split? Yeah, no taking pictures until... Oh, okay, yeah, no worries. All right, yeah, no worries. Thanks. That goes for the whole thing. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. Only your booth. Yeah, no worries. I'm going to stop right now. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys later. Sorry, man. No, no it's not, not a problem. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I respect it. Appreciate it. Yeah, no worries.